today on Divorce Court. Tiffany and I have been dating her over seven years. We have three beautiful children. He is the love of my life, but his chronic lies and cheating have me wondering if I should walk down the aisle. I'm here to ask the judge how we can fix our problems and change and stay together. I would like to ask the judge if my relationship is worth it, if it's fixable, if this is something that I really should consider doing. If my relationship with Ronnie does not work, I'm ready to leave. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Tiffany Graham and Ronnie Marchbanks. The two of you have been together for a while. You are considering getting married. You have one child together, and each of you has one child from a previous relationship. You're not quite sure whether you should marry, so you've come to me for my advice. You've given me your marriage license, which you've given me permission to tear up should I think your union is ill-advised. You've also filled out my compatibility test, which we will review later on. But, Ms. Graham, I'm going to start with you. Why are you considering marrying him but aren't quite sure it's the thing you ought to do? Well, Ms. Judge Lynn, I'm considering marrying Ronnie because um, he's everything I've ever asked for in a man. Um, I love him very much, but the only reason why I'm not considering marrying him is his cheating and his lies. You know, he has a problem, but... How long have you two t been together? We've been together for seven years, almost S eight years. Seven years? Yes, ma'am. And during the course of that seven years, how often has he cheated? It's been off and on. It'll be... It'll be on, and then it'll be good for a few months, and then I'll notice that things are changing, and then I'll see that... Something's happening. Something's happening. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Marchbanks, do you agree... Do you cheat on him? Uh, I wouldn't quite say I'm cheating on her. What would I, you say? I'm talking to other women, but I'm not... There's no sexual no, encounters? No, no, not at all. Ms. Graham, do you believe that that is not true? I want to believe that is true, but I don't believe that is true. Do you have any evidence that he has, in fact, actually cheated on you? Um, he changed females' names to male names in his phone. In his phone? He will, um... But I did... That was a long time long ago. That was, time like, ago. when we probably first got together. I understand you found that he's running around with condoms in his pocket. Is well, that true? Well, they weren't nah. technically in his pocket. They were in my car. Mm -hmm. exactly. In my car. In my trunk. And I'm like, and I'm why saying, are there condoms stuff in my trunk? in her trunk mm -mm. at the same time because my cousins that. was coming back and forth and staying with us, and he kept bringing his luggage back and forth, and she found them in the trunk in his shoes. They weren't in his shoes. Well... They were... That's like, you know, when I was a criminal judge, <laughs> the joint was never the guy in the car. It was... <laughs> his buddy left it. You know, people don't leave joints. They take them with them. Thank but you. What I'm saying, we, Thank you. What I'm saying is we drive two different cars. I would never be dumb enough to leave this... a condom just sitting in her car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would rather Have leave it in my car. Have you ever cheated on her? And, and just be honest. Have you ever done anything that if she actually saw what you were doing, it would hurt her feelings or she would feel betrayed. Yeah, I mean, I have never cheated on her, but I have cheated on her in the past, but nothing recently. When you say recent, what are you talking about? In the past probably four or five years. Like, and she knows about the times we cheat. I cheated on her. Like, y'all know about the times she cheated has on me. Has he grown out of it? No. I mean, has he been cool the last four or five years? What? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, I have. No, ma'am. Our daughter was born, okay? And I found out that he was still messing with the girl that he worked with. Was that not true? That's very true. But That's that was when my four daughter years is ago. four. Just, She's four. She, she just said four or five years though. ago, Ronnie. She just said between the last four or five years. So you found out he was fooling with somebody else while you were I pregnant with your child. My, you I just had, had, just your had our daughter. And you co sign on that, but you say that's the last one. Yeah. You see, I didn't even... Every time I asked him, Ronnie, are you cheating on me? I've never got a straight answer. So you telling me that you you have cheated on me, that means you have slept with somebody else? That's new to me today. I That's just said new. I since before. Okay, but I still did not know that. You yes, knew you about... Did. Okay, okay. Because you told me about the dude you cheated with, and I told you about her. The well, same have girl you I was cheated on him? Yes, I have. I, I did cheat on Ronnie. Yes, ma'am, I did. And, and how recent was your dis indiscretion? That was... I want to say about 2011. Uh-huh. Yes, and after I cheated Was it on a him, revenge cheat? It was just... a revenge cheat. It was a revenge <laughs> cheat because I found more pictures, more text messages. Just... It was just... And it was not from one. It was from multiple. So it was... When I seen that, okay, you're going to step out. So why am I... I mean, why not? 
You know? I, you know, I, I understand. Well, if you're going to step out, if you step out, I just step away. I don't understand that is maintaining a relationship with somebody you don't trust, having every day be about checking his phone, checking his pockets, wondering where he is, as opposed to just checking out and, and, and go find you somebody that, that, that's not going to do that to you. I don't get that. Is the market that tight? I mean, for dudes out there, <laughs> that if you Honestly, get... Honestly, yes. Is it? It is. It could but, be. But <laughs> Ronnie is a different breed. Like, when it's good, Judge, it's good. Really good. It's good. I mean, but when it's bad, we do... We just can't. It's... <sighs> I'm sorry. And it's not like Don't I try to hurt her. It's just she drives me away sometimes, like... Her nagging or her attitude, you know? And just... my nagging and my attitude comes from where? I'm at home 24 7 with our kids. So, yes, I have a temper. My kids drive me crazy. You know what I'm saying? I have I have been without a job for a couple of years. So, me not working, that hurts because it I does hurt from that. him. I take care he of everything. He you works know? all day, every day. So, I mean, I understand that he's stressed out. And for me not to be able to bring in, you know, mm -hmm. more income. More in, it, it, it's kind of depressing because I've never been like this. As long this. as she takes care of my house and my kids, I'm fine with that. Are you concerned at all that your temper is not within your control? I am a little bit concerned. Um, sometimes it does get a little bit overboard to where things can go flying and cars might get keyed up or, yeah. We've been talking about your infidelities or, or, or your missteps, and now I want you to talk about your main concern with her, which, based upon the compatibility test, seems to be her attitude and her anger. Why don't you tell me about that? When she gets mad, it's, it's hell to pay. Like, you can't get anything through to her, you can't talk to her, and she just has to keep going, cussing you out till she has the last word. Like, I tell her, it's okay, it's fine, I'm not about to be, keep tripping with you, mm -hmm. and she'll. I'm like, okay, then if I grab my stuff and I just leave, grab my kids, getting ready to go. Uh, so what, you just gonna leave now? I leave because I don't want her to keep getting angrier and angrier and then taking it out on me. And or... you're not resolving anything. Exactly. And it's just... Now, Ms. Graham, do you, do you go over the top? I mean, do you, do you get 100% crazy, go off cussing yes, and carrying on? Yes, ma'am. But... He doesn't always just shut up and, and leave and what he's saying. He keeps it going sometimes, too, because, yes, Ronnie is the type. He got to have the last word as well. So don't sit in and say, okay, I but... always got to have the last word. You said something else, though, that, 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 that brought my attention to, your, to your, your state of mind, is that my kids drive me crazy. Yes, ma'am. And so there's a lot of things making you crazy. And I'm a little concerned about the control that you have over your ability to contain yourself. Would, think... Are you concerned at all that your temper is not within your, with, within your control? I am a little bit concerned. Um, sometimes it does get a little bit overboard to where things can go flying and <laughs> cars might get keyed up or, yeah, so it can overboard. get a little... It can get a little... And she oh, know at the end of the day, we're going to be fine. So mm -hmm. what's the point of doing all that? OK. Now I understand, Mr. Marchbank, you, 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 you asked her to marry you. Yeah. You said yes. Still don't trust him, but you said yes anyway. Yes, ma'am. Why did you propose to her? What did you think? I mean... Why did you think you were there? I mean, because I love her. I mean, I, at the end of the day, even though I talk to other women, I really don't see myself with anybody else but her. And we have a beautiful family together. I mean, I just don't see any reason to... Let's presume that you're just talking to other women. Okay. Okay. Whether or not anything else is happening, let's just leave it there. Why do you feel that need to confide in other women in an, in, in an intimate way? Not I mean, sexually, necessarily, but... I mean, because sometimes with her, I try to talk to her, and she just sometimes just iffy about everything. You know, I... Or she doesn't want to talk, or if I do talk to her, it's just 
most time in it, in one ear and out the other. I know she feels probably the same way about me, and we both had that problem, but it's there's, just. There's no talking. When it comes. There's only yelling. Y th sometimes it does become a yelling match, and when it does come about certain issues, he does not like to talk about. Ronnie does not like to talk. I mean, so I do don't shut say it's not always me. Let me ask me. you this, Mr. Marchbanks. Like Are you in a position to say to her, I will no longer have intimate conversations with women? Because let me tell you something. The cheating, the sex is one thing, but if you take a woman and, and, and confide in her and have conversations that she's not allowed to know about and a closeness with another woman like that, that's as bad to us as you guys doing the Mad Fantastic. So... Are you ready at this juncture to leave that particular thing alone? Yeah, I am. I mean, if she can change the way she acts and her attitude, I'll be A1. So that's contingent upon a change in her conduct. Right. I say, because when she acts like that, she pushes me to just, you know, leave, not want to come home as soon as I get off work or hang out in the streets as long as I can, you know what I mean? So I won't have to come home to an attitude. Are you in a position to say, that I love this man so much and I am comfortable enough with him to create a life together with him legally forever and ever, despite what happened in the past, without being a lunatic, chasing him around and looking at his phone. Yes, is, is that, are you there? Yes, I, I believe my mental can be there. I can be there. A lot of people look at me and Ronnie as a power couple. Because like I said, when things are good, they are good. A lot of people don't want us to split and break a apart. A lot of people don't matter. That is right. true. At all. Don't that even discuss But this them. is even... Yeah, but they don't have to live with y'all. This, <laughs> this is a you and him decision. Right. And they see the good parts of it, and I bet you there are a lot of good parts in it. But, but what I have to... Too, yeah, oh, yeah. That, well, we that. <laughs> that was my next sentence. Oh, I'm sorry. There are always bad parts to them, and you have to understand what they are and be able to live with them long-term, and that's what we're going to talk about so we can make a determination as to whether or not the two of you are really ready. If you are to marry, you have to know that you're in a position to make her feel as safe as she needs to feel so she doesn't go crazy. Do you think you can do that? Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Don't forget to join the conversation on social media. Go to facebook.com slash divorcecourt and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at divorcecourt. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. I looked at your compatibility test, and I really saw nothing other than what I saw here, so I don't think I have a need to go back into those things. But here's what I'm going to say to you, Mr. Marchbanks. Part of the reason she's half-crazed all the time is because she's scared. And she's scared because she believes that one of those women with whom you speak intimately is going to take you from her. That is a constant, everlasting fear that she lives with 24 hours a day. And to, be, to fear abandonment like that on a long-term, ongoing basis makes you crazy. That's what happens. And she's so frightened of it that she fights, she's angry. You know, when you get frightened, you do things. Right. And the things that she does is yell and look and search and investigate. So if you are to marry, you have to know that you're in a position to make her feel as safe as she needs to feel so she doesn't go crazy. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, I think I can do that. I believe I can. Y'all picked the day to 7 7 17 to get married. You day. did that. Why? Just because it sounded good? No. I mean, because it's around my birthday, two days after my birthday. Don't make decisions about a marriage based upon when you're going to have the wedding. 
uh, you don't save the date until you know you can trust the man. And I think that... <laughs> I don't think he's a bad guy. I bet you he's sweet as the Dickens. I think, I think he's kind. I think he's lovely. I think he's got a great smile over there. And I think when things are good, he's all sweet and cuddly. And I think he thinks you're fabulous because you are fabulous. And I think that's just a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful thing. Can I say this to you, Mr. Marchbanks? I think you're an intelligent guy. I think you are a kind guy, and I think you're a capable guy. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is be cognizant of your past and make a purposeful decision not to repeat it. People read off the scripts that are written for them by their parents. They do so unconsciously without really knowing about it because you kind of believe that, that how it, that's how it that's works. Right. So when you go out and deal with the community and society as a whole, you have to have in your mind a rule and a decision that, in fact, I'm not going to repeat that. I got a woman so good, I don't need any of the rest of that that I am a man of such strength of character and mind that I can throw that script in the trash and write my own. I want you to be that dude because I think you have that capacity. Do you think you can do that for me? Yes, I can. Now, I'm gonna straighten her out. <laughs> On Divorce Court, I hear it all. Do you need help with your relationship? He has told you that he does not do women's work. When it comes to doing domestic work like laundry, he's told me, oh, I don't do women's work. What do I have you here for? Ooh, we're gonna have to get you bodyguards to get out of here if you said something like that. Visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Graham, I think you are as spectacular as I think he is. I think you two are lucky to have found one another. What I need to tell you, however, is this. To be jealous and investigatory guarantees that each and every day will be miserable on the off chance that one day he might leave. That's a bad trade. What I would do is go ahead and trust him. What I would do is be calm and cool and wonderful to come home to, not questioning, not concerned. Because if he does act a fool, you can go. You can leave. But don't make every day miserable on the off chance he might split one day. I know the kids are making you crazy, and your fear is his leaving and making you crazy. Here's the thing. Your crazy doesn't hurt anybody as much as it hurts you and your kids. He gets up and go, I want you to be calm. I want you to be cool and collected. I want you to find a passion that belongs to you. I paint. Terrible. Looks awful. Don't nothing look like what it's supposed to look like. But it's something that I do and that I improve upon. Because what I'm afraid that some women do is make their whole life about a guy they aren't sure about and kids they can't control. And then they become a lunatic because nothing in their life makes them centered, powerful, whole, and, and, and uh, gives you the esteem that you deserve. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Leave that anger behind. That anger is a sign of weakness and fear. Don't be weak. Don't be fearful. You are a fabulous person. He, he's lucky to have you. If he forgets that someday, you can deal with it that someday. But now, create a home in which your children can be raised in a calm and stable manner. If you're having difficulty dealing with him, sit down with this cat over there and talk about how we're gonna change how we discipline these children. Yo, know, you that dude, right? Right. You gonna go in there and settle them kids down, make your wife a little yeah, laughier. Yeah, I do it all the time. Yeah, well, you know, keep it up. It's not working because they still making a crazy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wish you the best. Y'all take care. Seven, seven, seventeen. Yes, get it straight before then so you can get down that aisle. This matter is adjourned. Thank you. I love you. <laughs>